Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, one of the things that we've been of course uh, looking at and always kind of wondered was the amount of PCs that are compatible with Windows 11 in the market and of course uh, there's varying numbers coming from different sources but there's one number that has uh, actually um, popped up uh, recently a study of more than 2 million businesses um, where they looked at the PCs that you know companies use and they've looked at the minimum requirements for these um, from these companies for you know do they have the storage do they have all the information um, the minimum requirements needed the TPM chip or you know all all that is required for minimum requirements to go to Windows 11 and that has found out that overall in enterprise 23 percent of all the PCs that businesses have do have the minimum requirements to move to Windows 11 so 23 percent a little more than one out of five PCs is compatible already for Windows 11 uh, the study also mentions that at the upgrade pace of businesses, by the time Windows 10 will be at end of support in 2025, the number of PCs should have or, or should be above 60% at that time. So still, there will be a lot of PCs, you know, 40% that are not compatible. And that's enterprise PCs, not personal PCs. Um, we don't have much of a uh, number for the uh, personal uh, PC market rather than the business market. So 23%, which means that um, uh, about you know 77% of all the PCs in enterprise will need to be uh, either upgraded or totally replaced in order to meet the requirement for Windows 11. So this is surely going to slow down the uh, Windows 11 adoption rate at some point. We've seen the numbers yet um, showing us that, you know, the um, adoption of Windows 11 is already close to 20%, but with a slowdown. And I think that slowdown will be more pronounced as we go in the next months in, you know, maybe a year, year and a half, two years, as we'll hit that moment or that time where what is missing in PCs that are out there will be the compatibility to Windows 11 itself. So this is kind of interesting numbers, and um, it is going to be interesting to see, um, even though it works um, right now, what is the adoption rate of Windows 11 going to be in a year or two years, or even by the time we get to 2025 what will be the official number of the adoption rate. Um, one of the statistics also was showing that the two things that are mostly preventing the upgrade in enterprise was the lack of TPM 2.0 and the, of course, the CPU. You know, Microsoft didn't do a good job when they announced Windows 11 because they kind of just didn't say the real deal about the CPU requirement. They just said, Oh, as long as your CPU is 1 gigahertz and 64 bits. And everybody said, oh, everybody's compatible. Nope. It, it's later that that you know generation of 8th generation or more came up. And then it was like, okay, no, there is, there is a, tr a problem, a trick with that. So um, apparently these two are the main drivers of why PCs are not compatible. TPM, lack of TPM 2.0, and uh, the, in the CPU generation. Uh, they go together, honestly. It's like both of them go together because if you don't have an 8th gen CPU, you probably don't have TPM 2 and, and vice versa. So uh, that's, that's one of the things. The um, third, and this one is a surprising one, the third reason why PCs and enterprise might not be compatible storage it seems that some are not even up to the 64 gigabytes minimum requirement in the disk space or storage space which is kind of weird um, then again 
if you're using computers mostly connected to um, internal uh, servers to uh, store stuff, you probably don't need a PC with a lot of storage, that's for sure. But interesting numbers, uh, interesting numbers coming out of uh, that study of 2 million businesses uh, across the United States, uh, showing us that 23% are already compatible with Windows 11, 77% lack in some way, and the biggest problems is lack of, um, you know, 8th gen CPU or later, or the uh, TPM 2.0. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.